What is up Smack Empire? Smack Empire here and welcome back to another Dark Deception video. This time, part 2 of our characters list series where we'll dive deep into everything characters related for Dark Deception Chapter 4. Yesterday we did nurses related video, every character possible in nurses level so make sure to check that one out. Today we're going to take a look at level 2 of Chapter 4, level 7 to be exact and that is Joy Joy Gang. Every confirmed character's powers, location and of course every possible characters and their speculations so without wasting any more time let's begin Now this level, unlike Nurses 1, has its fair share of differences, not just literally in design, but among fans as well. Nurses, like we said last time, are quite popular, but Joy Joy Gang gets a different treatment from the fans. They don't get hate or anything offensive, but people point out a lot of similarities between this level and Five Nights at Freddy's. Of course, FNAF was released in 2014, but Dark Deception also started in 2014. Matter of fact, those designs and concepts were here before FNAF even came out, so it's a bit unfair for dark deception. However, unlike nurses, devs are taking the route of keeping everything or most of the things secret and understandably why. So what exactly we know about this level? Well, mainly the characters, obviously because of the devs showing them in the first place back when chapter 3 just dropped. Now without wasting any more time, let's see what these characters and future characters Like I said, the first thing we learned about Chapter 4 even before Nurses was three new characters. Those characters were the first thing we found out about Chapter 4 from the devs and then slowly slowly they started to share more about them. These three characters are the main advertisements for this chapter and most importantly, these characters were formerly known as Joy Joy mascots. Heck, they were the first ones to have soundtracks on Glow Stick Entertainment's YouTube channel as you know they're pushing them a lot. But let's dive deep into each and every single character in this level. Starting off with number one, the main character, the first character we learned anything about in Chapter 4's teaser thus far, is this rabbit looking character known as Lucky the Rabbit. Lucky here has this weird children themed costume that's mainly to pull and lure a lot of kids and their attentions. This is nothing new as back in the day Disney was the most popular among the market when it comes to making giant cartoon costumes and getting kids around them. Sure, those weren't exactly friendly looking but fortunately for kids, Lucky here looks looks quite friendly. He's got giant hands, a big smile on his face, his costume is rabbit themed, so parents don't have to worry about their kids hugging and playing with these characters, right? Well, we are wrong for thinking like that. The fact of the matter is, things starts to get worse, not from this look, but what Lucky has in store for us in his second form, the real form, the real intent behind his identity and behind his character, and that is the animatronic side, the tech side. This section will make kids go, no thanks mom, in a matter of milliseconds. This terrifying look of Lucky is what makes this character so intriguing in the first place. The name Lucky actually has a history with him, as learned from their voice reveal. You know why they call me Lucky? I never leave. Yeah, they call him Lucky because he never lose. Never lose to aim children's heads or limbs or body or skull or heart for that matter. Now we don't know if they target anything specific when they roam around. However, we do know they're from Doug's nightmare. So there might not be anything specific. However, what we do know is that they're red laser-ish eyes. Those eyes might not be their first look when we greet them in level 2. However, once they get triggered, their eyes will turn red before going back to normal. On the other hand, Zone 2 as always will have their eyes consistently red, making it difficult to move past them, or him for that matter. What more these animatronics or characters are capable of? Well, let's learn a bit more. Now, I cannot describe my hatred for this one specific character. Everything aside, if I have the opportunity to destroy a specific character in all of Dark Deception, I would not be hesitant in my choice because this Hangry the Pig will be my first and only choice. But my opinions on him aside, he's the second in Joy Joy Gang, the trio of three animatronics who are formerly known as Joy Joy mascots. However, Hangry the Pig might be quite violent than his other fellow gang members, mainly because of two things. One is his design, of course, it already looks like he's eaten half of population of Earth kids, and secondly, because of his line in a voice reveal. Hi, I'm hungry. I'm a pig. Ah, I'm so hungry. 
I love ribs. Can I smell yours? Yes, he's always hungry, no doubt. He's been named hangry, freaking pig. No one likes you, pig. But yeah, his speed might be the one that we could use to our advantage. And no, that's not fat shaming. That's just because of him being more violent and hungry all the time. Just like Lucky, they will obviously perform roaming until they get triggered through the lasers hitting in the level as well as cameras by Malak. What I'm hoping for, because these characters are smart, let's hope that they're not smart. Because what we've learned in Crazy Car and Evil is that quantity numbers a lot of them can be super annoying and that takes away the fun and challenging part of the game to just unfair or pure luck and i'm not a fan of that Here comes the most underrated character in all of characters history and that is none other than my new favorite after reaper nurse of course you already know penny wait for it wait for it penny the chicken Penny the Chicken is the third member of Joy Joy Gang, making her less violent from a logical standpoint, less smart, and less speed overall. Now, we could be wrong, and she might be the fastest, the smartest, the most violent of them all Joy Joy Gang, mainly because of everyone underestimating her. And devs could use this opportunity to turn this underestimation of everyone to not to mess with the Penny the Chicken. Anyways, she might be a bit different after all, mainly because of her voice reveal. We all remember duckies in chapter 3, they had two attacks, one is the stun one, and secondly the stomping to the head, which would trigger our death. Yeah, not a fun way to go. This might be the same with Penny, as she said, she bite, so her bite might be the stun of course. These are deadly, literally, but I do feel like the lucky is the mature one in the group, so his tactics will of course differ from Hangry, who just likes to eat, and Penny on the other hand likes to surprise people, surprise people with her bite, leading to stun and later later death. What do you make of Penny? I reckon that we could fool all these characters with our powers, but from the teasers Wins have put out thus far, it seems to me, and I've been saying this for months now, this level might be the toughest of all Dark Deception. But these three cannot stop us and our powers, right? Well, they might not be able to stop us, but some others might. Well, you might be thinking, is this a troll or something, kids? Really? Well, allow me to explain myself a little here. This is where the unconfirmed territory begins. We don't know about the location, nor do we know exactly how many characters are there, or if there are any characters to begin with. However, I want to take you all back to teaser for chapter 4. I said this a long time ago as well. Why are kids there in the background? I mean, of course, this is some sort of children-themed level. We made out that in the beginning of this video. However, I found out another odd thing, that these kids were crying with balloons and everything, but they weren't shown dead or being disappeared as soon as these animatronics turned into their second form. Why? It's because you have to forgive me for this one. Their souls were not and still not being arrested, hence making them haunt and possess alongside these characters in a PC location. For this video, we will assume two locations, a giant pizzeria with giant kitchens, back rooms, stages just to set the mood, and second zone with leftovers of abandoned animatronics, leftover pizzas, equipment a place where these animatronics are being programmed or designed and most specifically a place where corpse of dead kids are also being stored or at least where kids end up after animatronics do their job so to speak not saying this is like five nights at freddy's because i'm positive this will not resemble fnaf in any way i also would like to add chapter four's location teaser this is because in the teaser we can see elevator going down which was confirmed later to be inspired by the movie aliens now it intrigued me quite a bit because if the devs have seen this movie and even went to go as far as to make something inspired by it, there's an absolute 70.5% chance that the plot of the movie, at the very least, might have inspired to tune their story of Dark Deception as well. Now for those of you who have not seen this movie, this might be a spoiler, but take a listen to this plot. Quote, After floating in space for 57 years, Lieutenant Ripley's shuttle is found by a deep space salvage team. Upon arrival at LV-426, the Marines find only one one survival, a nine-year-old girl named Newt. But even these battle-hardened marines with all the latest weaponry are no match for the hundreds of aliens that have invaded the colony. Now, 
I know what y'all thinking, that has nothing to do with Joy Joy Gang, but what it certainly does is lay out the carpet at the very least. The first thing we can take out from it is this might be taking place in some sort of abandoned place. We already figured that one out. To most notably, one survival. And that was a little nine-year-old girl. Hmm. Anyways, before we get to our little girl here, kids on the other hand could play a vital role in this level. Not every level needs distraction from other characters, but what this level needs is kids. Absolutely. This would be nothing new as we had kids' voices in Agatha's level. However, this time, it's welcomed. Mainly because of all the kids, judging from Alien's plot, died by the hands of either animatronics themselves or some sort of accident being happened, leading to so many deaths and destructions. So many deaths except one. Dead corpses of kids would be great addition in this level. You don't need kids as AIs to chase you or stun you, but imagine this. You turn a tight corner, flickering lights, darkness all over the place, and you see a kid with a balloon, waving and smiling creepily at you. And from there on, it just keeps following you until one of JoJo gang characters finds you. This is a weak theory, sure, but it would be great addition to the horror and uncomfortable element of the game, which at this point is super necessary. But what do you think of kids as enemies in this game. And before you say, oh, kids are so nice and sweet, they can't be enemies. Well, apparently, my friend, you haven't experienced the kids kid, the real side of kids. Kids are evil as heck. Trust me on this one. And finally, just like kids, there could be more NPCs. I feel like after playing Agatha's level, there's a need of more characters. Not like Crazy Car and Evil, because those just gets annoying really fast. They have no pattern, they're annoying, and they could work around the element of luck. But having NPCs that are either interactable, as in deadly or stunly, they would be such a great addition to the ongoing tension. For example, in kitchen area, they could be a chef or cook that chases you around the kitchen and stun you so long before it kills you. And in order to avoid chef or cook, you have to be stealthy. Each part of the level could have its own set of characters. Main areas could have security guards guarding other areas. Kitchen with chef or cook and you get the point. This is not necessary, but it will make this level 10 times harder than it needs to be. Yeah, you hear me. Then it needs to be. Joy Joy Gang level will be the hardest, the important one from story perspective, and more action-packed, more creepy than other level, in my opinion. This level right here has potential to be one of the best experiences in horror indie game industry, as it could make itself stand out after getting FNAF copy responses from the fans. And please, don't miss this opportunity to include wife and daughter of Dougie anyway. This is necessary. With that being said, that'll bring us to the end of this video. What do you think of all these theories? I am more into the story element. Are you into what I am into? Wait, that sounded wrong. And what was that? And also watch part one of our nurses level if you haven't seen yet. And join us tomorrow for part three regarding Trigger Teddy and Mama Bear. I have a bomb theory as an in insane theory for mannequins afterwards. So make sure you are subscribed with the notifications on and become an official member of Smack Empire. I'm Smack and until next time, take care and peace.